Hi, I'm Brian Mandel, Chairman of Medicine and a member of the Rheumatology Department at the Cleveland Clinic. I'd like to take the opportunity to chat a little bit uh, about gout or gouty arthritis. Gout is uh, an incredibly common and in fact uh, increasingly common uh, form of arthritis, which means inflammation of the joints. Uh, and it's uh, increasing in frequency, we believe, due to the many factors that uh, contribute to this metabolic uh, disorder that affects men and women, particularly following menopause. So gout comes from the buildup and deposition of uric acid, a normal chemical in our body, but in some people, the levels of uric acid in the blood are high enough that it starts to come out of the blood and settle in and around joints and other structures in the body. When the uric acid settles out in these areas, it coats the, the joints, it coats the other tissues of the body, and sometimes this coating will break free and it's almost like you have thousands of needles of uric acid crystals which can set up a nasty form of inflammation which to the patient who suffers from this, a red, hot, swollen, incredibly painful uh, joint. It's more common at least initially in the lower extremity, particularly the big toe, the foot, the ankle, but it can affect the, the knees, the wrists, the fingers, and, and other uh, less common joints uh, as well. It used to be thought that uh, it was only a disease of the high rollers, and in fact, that uh, has some truth to it in that uh, risk factors include ingestion of a, a lot of alcohol, red meats, uh, a lot of shellfish, lobster, but because the uric acid is in all of us, it turns out that it's actually not only from the diet, but from genetic factors. The genetic risk for building up uric acid in the body uh, causes gout to run uh, in families. So gout is uh, a treatable disease. Once it's recognized, appropriately diagnosed, it can be appropriately treated. And the treatment of gouty arthritis can be uh, one in terms of treatment of the acute attacks with anti-inflammatory medicines, such as the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. But more importantly, once gout is recognized, we can attack the direct cause, which is the elevated levels of uric acid. Diet will help a little bit, but the mainstay of treatment of elevations in uric acid uh, that cause gout are with medications such as uh, allopurinol, which can be prescribed by a physician and with monitoring of the blood levels of uric acid, we can lower that level to uh, six and if the level is kept low enough uh, for long enough, the gout attacks are quite likely to completely uh, stop happening. So dietary factors, lifestyle, maintaining a weight that's reasonable, all make sense, but what makes the most sense is recognition and attention by uh, your physician.